Hey you, I'm Sarah Turner. I'm a freelance copywriter and copywriting mentor. And I actually am just coming back from three months off for maternity leave. And I wanna do something a little different for this video. Normally in my videos, as you probably know, I spend a lot of time just focusing on the skills, on the hard tools that I can give you so that you can get your freelance copywriting business up and running. But because this is a new season of my life and so much has changed, I wanna take a moment to kind of share with you what I've learned as being a new mom. So I had my son on March 2nd of 2023, and I am just so grateful. I was able to mostly take three months off because of the things that I put in place before he came. And this is absolutely one of my dreams coming true. And this whole process has been really beautiful to kind of see how it's unfolded because this is ultimately one of the dreams of mine. One of the reasons I became an entrepreneur and a business owner in the first place was because I wanted to be able to, one, take the burden off my partner so he wasn't the only person having to provide. That was very important for me. And two, so that when we decided to have a family, there would be flexibility inherently built into my life so that I could take some time off to really be present for my baby when he was first born. Now, I've been copywriting for 10 years, and so it's pretty wild to have this dream that is finally coming true. And as I've entered into this new season of my life, I've learned a ton. And for anyone out there in this season of life, I just wanted to share my insights with you. First and foremost, I know how fortunate I am that I set my life up the way I did so that I could, you know, move into motherhood with a lot of flexibility and stability, quite frankly. That was really important for me. I knew that I probably wouldn't be the best mom that I could be if I didn't do that first. In fact, it was only recently that I actually felt ready to be a mom. I was never somebody who just always wanted to be a mom. I felt like I really had to get my shit together in order for it to be the right time for me. And that's just me. Again, always keep in mind that anything you hear, especially when someone's sharing their story, is just personal to them. It is not a reflection of your choices. There are so many ways to be a mom, and I genuinely do not judge anyone for the path that they've gone. So before I was a mom, I always thought I'd want to be working, probably full-time. And that's because my work brings me an incredible amount of meaning. It is really challenging and intellectually stimulating, and it's something that I'm just truly passionate about. You know, showing up every single week and creating content is really time-consuming and, quite frankly, sometimes exhausting. But... I do it because I continue to hear from people that it really helps them, and that is truly the fuel to my fire. So I couldn't imagine a life without that. But it was so interesting as he came and as I got to experience really what it feels like to actually be a mom, to see how he's growing and changing every single day, um, I've just really been taken aback by how exciting it is. People tell you this, you hear it all the time, but it wasn't anything that really resonated with me until I was in it myself. And very quickly, I noticed that the way I was operating before having Bennett was not going to work with the life that I have with Bennett. And I haven't even gotten to the place four months in where I've decided that I know what that's going to look like. But what I've realized is, is that it probably needs to change constantly. And so instead of thinking that I need to figure out what my work schedule looks like, what my life looks like, how often am I working, how often in, am I being with Bennett. Instead, what I've decided to do is to just constantly check in with myself and ask myself, was this a lot of work? Was this too much work this week? Did I wish I had more time with Bennett? Did I wish that I you know, had more time working? Are the projects that I'm passionate about and excited about moving forward at a good pace? Do I need to adjust my expectations for the pace? that I'm working. And all of this is just a constant recalibration. And that is the biggest lesson that I've learned so far is that it's not stagnant and I need to get more comfortable with the flexibility, the fluidness, and kind of hold space for unknowns or for things to come up. You know, when there's a day where he feels like he needs me a lot more, I take the time to be able to be available to him. 
And to be able to put things on pause or to pass things off to my team is one of the most beautiful ways that I've seen entrepreneurship in my life kind of unfold. The other thing that has really helped me in this part of my life is to remind myself almost on a daily basis that I can change my mind, that I am not stuck in what I've created, that I am not stuck in whatever plans I made, especially if I made those plans pre-pregnancy or pre-Bennett, I'm never stuck. And that is something that helps me so much because if your business starts to feel like just an obligation, like you're only showing up because you have to, and you start to lose track of or find space in between you and your purpose and the reason why you're doing the thing that you're doing, you can quickly fall back into the trap of working a life that feels like a nine to five. And I've had moments like that. But for me, one of the most important things I can do to combat that isn't to stop working or isn't to stop projects. It's to simply reframe my work and to remind myself that I am in control and I have the power to change the direction and the course. And I have the solution and the resources because they're out there at any point in time. And that process alone alleviates an incredible amount of stress and pressure. It's almost as though I've entered into a season where nothing feels certain anymore because every single day is so different. And the more I can root into a sense of self-trust that I can figure things out and I'm allowed to figure them out as I go and I have permission to change my mind, that combo right there is truly been what this season is all about. And so I just wanted to share that with you because if you are a freelancer, a business owner, a mom or a dad or a parent, it is so important for you to check in with yourself because without those check-ins, we have a tendency to kind of continue down a path where we're just going through the motions. And if you don't catch it soon, you can go down that path and suddenly look back and realize, oh no, I've created a boss that I don't want to work for anymore, Ooh, yourself. And that is not a great place to be. So I am acutely aware of how I need to constantly check in with myself. And I just wanted to share that in case that helps anyone. And then I wanna just add that if you are not in that place in your life yet, maybe you had kids first and are now trying to figure out how to gain some flexibility in your time and money, I just want you to know that you can absolutely do this second. Most of the people in my community um, are moms and started down the entrepreneurial route so that they could create and cultivate financial and time flexibility and security after becoming a parent. There's no right way to do this, but I will say that one of the reasons I am so freaking passionate about bringing entrepreneurship to more people is because it does give you the flexibility and the freedom to structure your life and to restructure your life as the seasons of change inevitably occur. And there are so many paths to entrepreneurship available to you today. Um, I obviously teach freelance copywriting. That is one of them. I'm really excited to start talking about AI more because I think it's an exciting development. It is definitely not getting rid of copywriters as I teach copywriting. If you're just writing copy, yeah, it's probably going to replace you. But as you probably know, if you've watched my channel, for any amount of time, I teach so much more than that. At the end of the day, you are a strategist, you are a copy engineer, and you are structuring entire campaigns. So you're not going to be out of a job anytime soon. In fact, AI is going to probably make your life a heck of a lot easier. In fact, it will probably make this career option more available to more people, which is really exciting to me because I really want to see everybody thriving in this life. Anyway, these were my thoughts. This is where I'm at. You're going to be hearing from me a little bit less frequently from now on. That is because I am still navigating this season of life, but I wanted to pop in here and kind of share with you my insights lately because they are so much more about whole life <laughs> realizations than they are about copywriting specifically. But be on the lookout for me. For YouTube videos, like I said, I'm going to be tackling AI a whole bunch here and I'm very excited about it. So I'll see you then. 
please don't forget to subscribe. It means so much to me, guys. And of course, hit that like button. And if you have any thoughts you'd love to share with me about parenthood or otherwise, I would love to hear from you in the comments. Thanks, guys.